Hi, I'm John. Welcome back to N Scale Friday. Today we have a caboose to look at, so let's head over to the workbench. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. This is an N Scale Extended Vision Caboose. This comes from Atlas, and it's in their Master Series. I'm looking at Atlas's website here, and I have noticed that they have two different versions of this model, one with roof wax and the other without roof wax. And now, depending on the prototype, you get a roof wax or you don't. These range in price from $19.95 for the undecorated version and go up to $32.95 for the decorated versions. This one obviously is decorated for a real grand. And they have about seven or eight, maybe nine different paint schemes on the website. So your best bet would be to go to the Atlas website and see if they have what you need. So looking at the paint job on this model, the uh, yellow paint or orange, whatever you call that, covers very well. And I don't see any gapping or problems with that uh, base coat at all. And the print on the paint is pretty good. I see a little discrepancy between the R, I, and O in the Rio part of Rio Grande on the logo there. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. And the treatment on these hand rails on the ends here, like this, is very thinly done. And it makes those grabs look almost like separately applied parts. Looking at this end, I'm struck by the barricade striping up here and then behind all this handrail stuff back in there there's barricade striping and this entire end piece is molded and it looks like a separately applied piece that gets applied after all the painting and everything is done one of the cool things about it is you can see down in here there's a lot of little brake chain detail hanging off there from this angle you can see that chain detail i was talking about it's molded, but it looks really good. I'm not sure that, especially from normal viewing distances, I'm not even sure you'd be able to tell that is molded detail. Looking briefly at the other side, you can see that the smoke jack is a separately applied piece, and that also looks pretty good. Now looking at the other end, it looks like this molded piece here is a little bit bent, but I think this is something you could very gently bend straight yourself, so it's not a big deal. But you can see this end has similar detail to what the other end has. And something that I'm noticing, and it may not be as apparent on the picture as it is in person, but the plastic that these other parts are molded with, I think it's Delrin, and it looks to be a slightly different color from the rest of the caboose. And again, this may not be a big deal because in the end, if you weather this, you probably wouldn't notice that. And we'll have a brief look at the top here. You can see that the walkway has pretty good detail, even though it's molded. And you can also tell that it's a separately applied piece. Because, again, this is a slightly different color from the base coat. Something else that's pretty cool about the top of this model is all this paneling detail. And again, maybe hard to see, but there's a lot of rivet detail as well. All that stuff will really pop when you weather something like this. And now for a brief look at the bottom of the model. Something I wanted to point out here is the fact that this detail is visible from the side when the caboose is rolling down the track. So it's nice to have that there. It looks to be molded. It's hard to tell, but I don't know. Maybe the, maybe some of these larger pieces are separately applied. But the point is it's there so you can see it when it's rolling down the track. And the other important thing to see here is that these are body-mounted couplers on each side. I think Atlas has done a pretty good job with this model. The paint is really good. The markings are pretty good, and the end detail would be a little better if it weren't sort of bent like that. But other than that, it'll go well with my Rio Grande GP40. So 
Hats off to you, Atlas. I'll see you next time.